it's me, Mario. And that's... Mamma mia! Okay. That is why this gets uh, challenging. Okay. So I'm also gonna do the 100 coin challenge differently in this stage. It's not gonna be on the red coin because all the red coins are right there. So that I'm going slower than usual, I don't want to fall. This platform does not go flush against the wall. Come on, Mario. There we go. And here's the pendulums, and that is the pit. There we go. doing the stars at uh, 12. Get a hand is a star that should be on a moving TikTok clock. But I want to challenge myself today and try to get the star without the gears moving. We've already seen the star itself. Which is this one. I do this like that Mario goes poof. Hoping I made it into the zero, but if we did get one, it's fine. We did get some speed. So when we get up to the spot where it wants us to be, I'll explain how the star is supposed to work. Maybe I'll actually do it. Okay. Psych, we're gonna do it the way that I intended to do it originally. We're already at three uh, lives. What's the worst that can happen? I do know that there's a challenge called Permadeath. And I think that there's one of two ways that it works. Permadeath is either if you die once, that's it. Um, or I think it's once you get a game over, that's it. Okay, so the intended way. On a speed moving clock portion, you'd ride this hand over to... That star. The way that I want to go, go about. I thought I had a lot more control over Mario's movements. Is. Leap. Kick. There we go. 
took me three lives to do that, but I didn't even get a chance to get there. Okay. This one we need speed. This is also the one where I'm doing the 100 coin challenge. Stomp on the Swamp is at the highest point of the stage. It is doable with no motion. Oh, really? Uh, it is doable with no motion, but it is extremely difficult. Hence why we're doing it with one speed. Um, different speeds. If you go uh, between 7 and 11, you are on the fast speed speed setting. Between 1 and 3, nope, 1 and 4, you're on the slow speed setting. 12 is no speed, and 6 is random, and it's not just like left or right random. It is suddenly parts are going slow, suddenly parts are going fast random. So if you're up for a real challenge, Go into TikTok clock on a six. Okay. Long jump, because we know we can make it. Not what I was intending, and you know what? There's no point. The blue coins are basically what's gonna get you the 100 coin star. And of course, Mario, instead of turning around like he does when he needs to, does a circle when he doesn't need to. Mario 64 is not designed for precision platforming. Okay, we made it to the wall. The added fact that when you're trying to do a wall jump, you don't slide on the wall is another major downfall of this iteration of Mario. Mario isn't supposed to bounce off of a wall, he's supposed to slide. Oh wow, we survived. Oh my goodness. I did not realize that was a box of ten. Okay. So the pendulum is an obstacle that can block you from making your jump. there's that concern in this platforming level. Oh, 
Bless you, Papa. I have my dogs with me. You can see one of their paws. Okay. We made it back here. Come on. Okay. Up we go. Flip a dude. Highly sensitive. Uh, I got very sad there. Okay. This is probably better off with this Mario camera. Much better. See how many blue coins we lost out on? We're already now at 63. And we're back to the beginning. But we are alive. I'd rather have to go back to the beginning. Uh, go back to the beginning having 63 coins than zero. So count your blessings. Yeah. Clearly someone's cursed me. <laughs> count your blessings dies. Okay. Who cursed me? Stop on the floor. Give me. Kablooey. Okay. Kabloomy! Both coins, right off the bat. All ten. Excellent. Someone's on a big doggy dream adventure. Where's the turn? I was not expecting that to work out in my favor. Okay, we made it. We're doing good. We have not died yet. Okay, half flipper. Okay. Long jump!
I don't know why it wasn't giving me the long jump. I even did the crouch. Oh, I thought I did the crouch. I guess I didn't. The only difference is we have three coins more than the last time we were doing this. Okay. Up. Okay. Okay, now we're back. Platform. No need to go that way, this way. No need to go that way. So I need this way. Why do you do this to yourself, Kyle? Why do you go for 100 coins on a level that's clearly not meant to be 100 coins? Oh, well, I'll tell you, mysterious voice in my head. It is because you're going through the entire clock anyways. And with proper precision platforming, you can make your dreams come true and get the 100 coin star on your way to stomp the swamp. Uh, the voices in my head are screaming at me right now. Okay, let's go for another round. I would stop the clock. But my problem with doing that is that there are parts that I need to have moving to make this easier, like getting up beyond the parts where I can never seem to get past. If those parts aren't moving, it makes it much harder to ascend there. Not impossible, but harder. That's what I thought would happen last time. Okay. I need my controller up here. On my desk. Okay. I missed a coin.
Okay. There we go. We made the jump back. Finally. Okay. Okay. No! 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 I made the platform. No movement it is! Yeah. going on with this era 2000 thing also why do I never remember having this much difficulty as a kid doing this stuff up It's just as a short reminder to everyone, I have not played Super Mario 64 since I was a kid for the original Nintendo 64. And even for the Nintendo DS, I have not played that version in years. Go. This guy's still working because he's not a mechanism in the clock. He's just a mechanism. Okay. Long jump. I don't understand, Mario. Why do you sometimes turn on a dime and then sometimes turn instantly around? I think that's the most annoying mechanic of your body. 